Usually when patients present to a urologist with a raised PSA, the standard of care now is actually to perform a MRI of the prostate. This MRI of the prostate, which is a magnetic uh, imaging scan of the prostate, allows us to check if there are any suspicious lesions in the prostate, which is suspicious for cancer. And if there are, we can then proceed on to do a more targeted biopsy of the prostate. After an MRI is performed, we would usually opt to do a transperineal biopsy of the prostate with the help of the MRI imaging fused to the ultrasound images uh, that is taken real time during the procedure. A transperineal biopsy involves putting the needle uh, into the skin just below the scrotum. Uh, it's a much safer biopsy than a transrectal biopsy in terms of infection and bleeding. Using a transperineal route, we would perform a random sampling biopsy of the prostate and then proceed to do a targeted biopsy of any suspicious lesion that was shown on the MRI. This is the biopsy machine and uh, this is the ultrasound probe. The ultrasound probe is introduced into the patient. Uh, with the help of the ultrasound probe, a three-dimensional mapping of the prostate is performed and fused with the MRI that was obtained prior to this a biopsy is then carried out using the software. Here we are trying to obtain a three-dimensional image of the prostate using real-time ultrasound. The mm. red area over here is the prostate. The blue area is a suspicious lesion seen on MRI which has been fused to the image. We recommend doing an MRI of the prostate to evaluate any raised PSA and if the MRI shows any suspicious lesions in the prostate, we would then proceed to do an MRI guided biopsy of the prostate.